Okay, in the last example, we showed you the difference between bicubic and nearest neighbor and how, uh, when it's changed in preferences, it affects the entire images when you go into image size. I want to show you now how it will affect other tools, your transform tools. So first I'll start with new and 4 by 4 inches, 300 and I will look into Edit Preferences and see what I have it set on. Okay, right now I have it set on Nearest Neighbor. So I will go to my ellipse and I will hold my sh uh, shift, but first I'll make a new layer so it doesn't stick to this layer. And I'll hold my shift and I'll make a circle. I do not have feather on. I do not have anti-alias on and I will fill this and then I'll do control D for deselect and now I can move my circle around and now I'm going to put my transform tools on and remember I had nearest neighbor selected so if I make this small or if I make this big I'll make this big very big and I'll say OK and now I will take off my transform tools and I will look close and you will see that I still have two separate colors the orange stayed one total reduced color of orange now I will do file new 4x4 four four again I will make a new layer and I will go back to my Edit Preferences General and I will change this interpolation, image interpolation to bicubic. I will still start with my ellipse tool. I will still keep my feather off. I will still keep my anti-alias off and I will make a circle and I will fill it Oops, sorry about that. Okay, and I will take my Move tool, hit my Transform tool, and make it very large, like I did with the last one. And I will, I can either hit the check mark or hit my Enter key, take my Transform tools off, and now I will look close into the edge of the circle and do you see the difference? This time when I changed and modified my circle, the edge of my circle, here I'm trying to get this one for you to show you the difference, the edge of my circle is soft because I had bicubic on and over here the edge of my circle is very hard.